Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada! For a brand new episode of Kill Tony, get up for Tony Hitchcliffe! What the fuck? <laughs> what is up, Las Vegas? Listen to that shit. Are you guys ready for this or what? Ah. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Feels good in here. Yeah, it's all that cigarette smoke. Fuck yeah. yeah. Fucking vitamin nothing. I love it. Uh, I am so fucking excited about tonight's show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know it. Let's just hear it one more time. You guys ready to have a great fucking night tonight or what? <laughs> just a little something for the podcast listeners to hear. How much fun we have on the road. Vegas definitely showed up tonight. Shout out to all you guys. Way over standing room fucking fire capacity only. We tried to warn the last 40, 50 people at the door, but like, fuck yeah, here we are. Let's do this. This is fucking military strength kill Tony. Uh, we're excited to be here on this lovely Friday night. We have uh, Mother's Day coming around the corner. And, uh, you know, it's a great time to uh, get your mom something cool. And you could do that at uh, ftd.com backslash Mother's Day and uh, do it. Yeah, it's cool if you like flowers. Yeah, get, yeah. Tw- get 25% off a florist-style bouquet for mom using ftd.com slash Mother's Day. That's Sunday night, uh, Sunday day. Did you, did you uh, already get something for your mom? I already did it. I, did, I got ftd.com for all the females in my family. Thank wow. you very much. Wow. Yeah. All right, there you go. There's a guy that appreciates the ladies. Even the, the side pieces? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> FTD, we can arrange that. Hey, we got some feedback little, going on somewhere. You hear that little whistle up there? Yeah. It's Make like, some noise for this uh, badass Irishman you guys have in your sound booth here. It's not Irish? What are you, English? English, okay, fuck yeah. You acted like you were insulted. I don't know. Uh, they're all the same to us. We're goddamn Americans here. You know what I'm saying? Now, why don't you work on that feedback before we have a new revolutionary war, motherfucker? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, he's giving me the middle finger, by the way, while not fixing the sound in the room. I love it. What a sound guy. He'll just throw the whole thing under the bus. I feel like I'm a Jedi. Yeah, if you make fun of his British heritage, he just uh, turns on you. There. Sort of, sort of better. Hello, hello. Wow, look at this guy. WikiLeaks over here. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Sorry, dude. It ain't happening. You guys got to relax. Hold your goddamn horses. Uh, we are excited about this. Uh, before we do anything else, why don't we bring up uh, our favorite goddamn band in the world? How about that? That sounds about right. Every single episode, they perform brand new characters. I never know what they're going to do. Sometimes it's someone we've seen in the past. Sometimes it's a brand new character. Las Vegas, make some noise. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Oh, wow, clearly pigtail little schoolgirl. Wow, look at this shit. Red man's getting up the dirt. Wow, look at these two. Absolutely dirty sluts. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. Wow. Wow. I didn't realize Britney Spears looked like Anne Frank. Then <laughs> 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 what do we have over there? Look at this dirty bleach blonde Pocahontas slut. How you doing, Joelberg? Happy to be here, Tony. <laughs> Jeremiah, what's going on? You excited about this? <laughs> you better believe it. Wow, you got a little fucking... <laughs> yeah, you have a little uh, thingamajigger there. Make some noise for Red Band. Red Band, ladies oh, hey, and gentlemen. Up, guys? We have arrived. Las Vegas, Nevada. Kill Tony, Death Squad. New shirts on pre-sale. Yeah, right new now, Kill Tony shirts on pre-sale right now at yeah, Shop Squad. Just uh, came TV. out. We pay homage to the comedy store in it. It's fucking cool. It's got the yeah. little like marquee light bulbs around yeah, it. Yeah, like the old comedy store shirts. Somebody here is wearing a comedy store shirt. Also. Oh yeah, they were dressed like an actual staff member. It was uh, it was a little bit creepy. Yeah, it was fucked up. <laughs> 
Um, so uh, we have a bucket. We have a bucket here filled with Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, comedians' names. Uh, so I pull a name out. I'm pretty sure you guys might know how this works. Uh, if I pull your name out, you get 60 seconds on stage. You know your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitten. <coughs> that means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we can't. We, I don't think we can make oh, that sound in no, Vegas. No, 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 no. I forgot. Uh, I forgot. Stand strong. Stand strong. Too soon. Too soon. Too Stand soon. Strong. Too soon. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, let's jump into it. You guys ready to start Kill Tony, Las Vegas, Nevada? Anything can happen, ladies and gentlemen. The bucket is real. We have a real bucket from the dive bar. What a cool fucking venue this is. This is some real fucking roadhouse shit for you podcast <laughs> listeners. There are people on people, cigarette smoke in the air. I mean, it is as real as it fucking gets. All right, so here we go. You guys ready for this? I pulled the name out of the bucket. Your first Las Vegas Nevadan. Perhaps it's a comedian. Perhaps it's a crazy person. You know it. Anything can happen. 60 seconds, uninterrupted, goes to Chad... Cologne. Perhaps. Colon. C-O-L-O-S. Chad. Stairs over here. Stairs over here. Here he is. Stairs over here. Chad, you can take a shortcut. Just go for it, buddy. Hell yeah. Chad Cologne, ladies and gentlemen. Now I know where all the scumbags go on a Friday afternoon. Good to be here, y'all. So I know I may not seem it, but I actually tend to be a bit of a more optimistic type. I like to, you know, go with the flow of things, try to go keep things as positive as as possible. Unfortunately, not everyone's on the same page. So while my neighbors annoy me, in fairness, they're going through a lot of shit right now. They have an eight-year-old son just passed, and they just had to bury him. I understand that I'm not a dick. I feel sad for them. But at the same time, I don't want to be focused on the negatives, like how he died or the fact that he's dead. I'd rather be focused on the positives like how great my lawyers were. (laughs) My ex-girlfriend used to like to give diet and nutrition advice, and it was fucking annoying. It's like, okay, sweetie, I know you think you know about diet and exercise, but don't you think that if you did, you probably wouldn't have had a fucking miscarriage? (laughs) Wow, all right. Chad, (laughs) Chad Cologne. Uh, wow, all right, where do we begin? A lot of that was very serious there. Uh, so, the miscarriage thing, is that true? Oh, uh, uh, you'd have to read it back to me. Uh, I'd have to read it back to what I just said? So you want me to say what I said again? I think it might be true, I'm not sure. I don't really keep tabs on things. Chad, take a breath. Uh, you seem, vi- everything's just, oh you just gotta relax. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. This is a big, big round for you right now. Your jacket has a lot more confidence than you do. <laughs> you just gotta relax, all right? You have the jacket of a fucking stone-cold assassin and the jokes of an actual assassin. Like, like, assassins don't work on jokes very often. I don't know if you know this. Jeremiah? I think he's kind of trying to be Anthony Jezelneck, but he looks like more of an Anthony Turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! What's girl, up, girl? Girls gone wild over here. These cr- girls, I'm dead and I get oh wow! <laughs> Chad, how long you been doing stand up? Uh, I, she just came back after a year break, but a year before that, and I took a year break. Did you say she just came back after Are you a talking? year break? I'm talking in third person. No, I, said I took a year off, but oh. before that, a year. Then I went to school for a bit and started working on stuff. Yeah, he took a year off because he was racing a hare. It's a turtleneck joke. Yeah, no, they're, yeah, they're, but the, it's the a band, muscle shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. Take that off. Let's oh, see what's oh, underneath Jesus. there. Oh Jesus! Wow! Look at you! Holy shit! Uh, that oh, body why is I'm so charming. Oh my God! You're like a pro wrestler. You're like Roman brains. Like a smart. I actually, I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I appreciate that. Wow! Yeah, it was an insult. I know. It was Roman Brains, like you're like a smart pro wrestler. Like oh, that wouldn't yeah. be like a great pro wrestler. The guy that like specializes in smart shit. I don't know what your diet is, but <laughs> your body looks a little toxic. <laughs> Chad, you from Vegas? 
Yeah. Yeah, you look like a guy that spent a lot of times in places you can smoke inside. Uh, what's that tattoo there on your uh, shoulder? Oh, that, was one, that was my first one I got when I was in the Army. It's Death Before Dishonor. Oh, you worked in the Army? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's an American hero, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Make some noise for Chad. Thank you, thank you. What uh, did you do in the Army? I was a rifleman and an interrogator. Wow. Oh, shit. Where'd you go? I did Afghanistan uh, twice. Did you waterboard anyone? Hold on. Wait, 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 Brian. Oh, Jesus. We got to work our way up to that. My uh, God. Hey, did you, hey, you, did you kill anybody? Did you waterboard anyone? Not since I was a kid. We got to soften him up a little bit. You know, he's, he's a professional interrogator. Yeah. Uh, did you ever get any uh, terrorists to confess to some crazy shit? Uh, most of it was just like stupid bomb stuff. I did more um, stupid bomb stuff. Was, like, you mean like wait, nine, wait, nine wait nine are you them. talking about the set you just did on stage? <laughs> <laughs> stupid bomb stuff. <laughs> sorry to do that to an American hero. I'm sorry. I feel bad because you were in the army. You're lucky you're in the army, or I wouldn't feel bad at all. But I'll I don't go take for back it. I'm a shitty human being. I deserve it. Oh, here we go. We have a little audio footage of you back in the army. <laughs> Yes, a lot of sonar work with the army. We all know they're deep sea, uh, the old deep sea army, Brian. Very good. <laughs> Chad, I love this. Uh, what do you do for work? Actually, just starting real estate. I'm retired, so I. Retarded? Yeah, I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm all across the spectrum, up and down. You're, you said you're retired? Yeah. From the military? Yeah, I got wounded, so I got early retirement. Oh, yeah? yeah. You got wounded? Oh, yeah. what a bitch. Wow, damn. What happened to you? Can you talk about it? Uh, it, was just, it was like a bunch of small shit because they just patch you up and send you back out. So I got like shrapnel. I got shot here. Could you and brain damage. Do that? Thank wow. you. Fuck he's, yeah. he's really coming out of his shell. Yeah. This is just for you, Jeremiah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I saw your string. Look your string's that. hanging out. Oh, there you go. Wow. So, Chad, how's the real estate business going? Are you doing good at it? You se- uh, what are I, you selling? I actually just started, so I, take my, I got hired. I take my exams this week, and then I start selling. Oh. I'm not really good at doing things. So, so you're not work. a real estate agent oh, yet. No. Right fraud. now, you're just a fake estate agent, yeah. basically. It gives me practice for my fraud that I'm going to commit in a couple what's, years. What's your... What's your lo- yeah, what's your love life like with a body like that? With a guy that wears muscle shirts like that? You, you get a lot of puss? Well, now with all the fucking rules about, like, high schools and shit non-existent, but back in the day it was pretty good. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. Chad, if you had to guess, like, what the thing that is the most interesting about you is, like, uh, like a little fun fact about Chad, like, oh, I can juggle and skydive at the same time. Like, what would that thing be? He can fit bugles on all of his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> more just... Here, open up to the crowd a little bit. Let them see you. Come on. I'd say more let, them, just, like, let them soak you in a little bit. Come on. That I'm extremely adventurous. I'm a huge adrenaline junkie and whatever. I'm down. I don't know what you just said, but has anyone ever told you that you look like a Mexican Simpsons character? Surprisingly, yeah. No. I'm Puerto Rican. Well, that is a first Same time difference. for everything. Oh, you're Puerto Rican? Same difference, though. Wow. wow. I guess so. Wow. All right. Well, Chad, uh, did, you, did I get an answer out of you about the most interesting thing about you? What'd you say? Uh, just more that, I guess. I'm a huge adrenaline junkie. I'm always doing different things to try. What the fuck shit. language do you start speaking? Did anybody decipher that? Did, well, I guess you do. You're singing what the sound guy sings when he gets drunk at the uh, <laughs> Irish pub. <laughs> Another middle finger. This guy just flips the bird more than anybody. I, t- I fucking love it. Oh, double bird, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I'm surprised they know how to do that over in England. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's my first time meeting a real celebrity. I'm nervous. What? Celebrity. My first time meeting a celebrity. That's I'm not nervous. really Britney Spears. <laughs> oh, now I feel better. <laughs> oh shit! Well, Chad, I uh, I love that. Uh, was the uh, did I get an answer out of you? Who, 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 was, was, that, that, who was that miscarriage? Yeah. Who was that miscarriage joke about? Actually, none. I actually use a lot of dark humor, uh-huh. so I chew it just because I have a lot of fucked up shit that happened in my life. Yeah, so of I course sure we know you're Puerto Rican. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I make sure not to like have anything that actually reflects off you because I just feel like everyone does that. So kind of just take horrible things that I already have horrible shit I can start with 
build with Goethals and just build it something completely different. I don't know what just happened there again, Chad. I'm t- Did I'm you get shot in the face at one Whoa, point? Whoa, Brian, come on, dude. What's going on? All right. Well, Chad, I love the fact that you're doing stand-up comedy. You know, you're a goddamn American hero, so, you know, uh, keep working it out. Have fun. There's an open mic here every Monday at 8, they told me. So, Chad Cologne, ladies and gentlemen, you just met him here right now. Fuck yeah. Chad Cologne. All right. You know what? Why don't we do something a little special? Do you guys like special things? Okay. Well, uh, how about I present to you to do a brand new minute of stand-up comedy. Uh, You know him, you love him as the regular on Kill Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Malcolm Hatchett. (laughs) What's up, Las Vegas? Yeah. All right, all right, word. (laughs) I don't know if I should be nervous or excited. <laughs> I want to be rich, but I want to be hood rich. Like I want a Ferrari, but I don't want the AC to work. <laughs> I want a Ferrari that drip oil. Cause every nigga in the hood got a car that drip oil. Like I want to be hood famous too. Like I want to be able to go to the White House and the first thing I ask Trump is, hey nigga, what's the Wi-Fi code? Trump, I really don't fuck with you, but nigga, what's the code? I want to be hood rich. Like, I want to have an ice cream truck outside my shows with spinners on it selling merchandise. And I want my merchandise to be plain white tees. Because that's some hood shit. (laughs) Boom, another one. Malcolm Hatchett. Another brand new minute. How about that? He came with us all the way from L.A. today. Malcolm Hatchett, everybody. (laughs) Malcolm, how does it feel to be uh, out here in Vegas? This is Malcolm's first night ever in Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. Cool stuff, right? Yeah, it feel good because I'm from the hood. I ain't never been nowhere. This shit nice, man. I love it. Uh, well, uh, how did it feel driving in a car with uh, me, <laughs> Red Band, Jeremiah, and Joel earlier? Now tell the truth. Well, I, I sleep in the car, so I was asleep the whole time. Yeah. But it felt good, man. It was tight. It was tight, Hell man. Oh, yeah. There was enough room for you to... Yeah. Uh, it was nice. AC was on blast and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tony was honking at trucks. Oh yeah, oh, well. Tony's d- does still does like the honking the horn thing. Him and Jeremiah. Uh, you mean which, you which mean is, you mean successfully does the honking <laughs> the horn wow. thing? It's it, it's yeah. so embarrassing though. It really is embarrassing. Oh <laughs> oh, Brian, what do you think traveling with you is <laughs> like? <laughs> People that look at you out the windows and babies yeah. start crying <laughs> in other cars. You're criticizing truck oh. honking, Jeremiah. You have anything to say about this? Yeah. Uh, so, Malcolm, why don't we do something fun? And uh, Vegas, what would, you, would, would it be okay, you think, if Malcolm just joined the uh, panel for the rest of the show? <laughs> His first time ever as a guest on Kill Tony, it's Malcolm Hatchet, everybody. Holy shit. Wow. This guy gets promotions real quick. How does it feel now being over here? I feel like I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the bucket we go, Vegas. Here we go. Uh, anything can happen. Let's see. Uh, all right, here we go. Put your hands together for Bridget Renee in uninterrupted 60 seconds. Oh, fuck my life. This is surreal. If I had IBS, I'd be shitting right now, and I am a little bit, so I'm not going to turn around. Hi, how are you guys? The fucking dive. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I want to keep it upbeat. Uh, my mom was a single mom, and she raised me, and she fucking worked full time. You know, so on the weekend, she'd want to go dancing with her friends, you know? And I remember being like a little girl and being like, but mom, why can't you stay home with me? You dance all week at Cheetah's. <laughs> But in her defense, I mean, it 
it was probably hard for her to understand me through all the duct tape. Um, so I don't know about you, but uh, I watch a lot of porn and I'm just really happy the Bush is back. I'm really happy, ladies, like get on board. Like, first of all, I don't feel like uh, my molestation vanity is Yeah. But I will do a Don King. Wow, you are a wild wi little one, Bridget Renee. You are uh, a wild little one, Tony Hinchcliffe. Whoa, Tony, geez, relax. Yes. Tony, uh, <laughs> hold on, Joelberg, go ahead. Uh, she looks like Rebate McIntyre. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that may have been the greatest Joelberg chant I've ever heard. Powerful dive bar. I like this fucking joint. All right, Bridget, first question. Uh, is that real cougar? <laughs> I knew I should have done that old lady joke. I'm talking about your skin, not your shirt. Ah. All right. <laughs> Bridget, you're adorable. Uh, how long have you been on stand-up? Um, this is my first time on stage in six years. Wow. How long has it been so six years since six you were on years. a stripper pole? I that is it. awesome. <laughs> Man, um, you performed stand-up six years ago? Yeah, I did about ten months. Wow. There you go. That's. I don't know. I, I heard him, like, I was listening to the Rogan podcast. He was talking about massaging assholes. And then, like, towards the end of the podcast, uh, it was they me. said it you guys were going to be here tonight. And I'm like, I'm fucking going, dude. Yeah. Oh. Have you ever had your asshole first. massaged? Oh. Well, okay, Brian. Jesus Christ. Is that an offer? It is. <laughs> oh, my God. I have ten offers for you. <laughs> Uh, at least we have a bucket to vomit in here. Uh, Do you like Steakum coupons? <laughs> yeah. Brian Redband. I got some. Fuck yeah. Bridget, uh, yeah. What, uh, what do you do for work? Um, right now, I'm gigging in an oil town in North Dakota. What's gigging? Bartending in a dive bar. Wow. Yeah. I like your style. I would never would have guessed that because you look like you uh, bartend in a dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are adorable, though. How long have you been in Las Vegas? Since 2013. 2013. Where yeah. are you originally from? St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. Misery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Malcolm, what do you think about this chick? Nice energy, but you look like you steal from Walmart and try to return it. <laughs> <laughs> Money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like you though. You got good energy. She, lo she, looks like you she looks like Tanya Hardy's. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks like Dolly Sharded. <laughs> oh my God. She Can looks like a really nice lady, guys. You guys need to stop <laughs> teaming up on her. Uh, All right, beware. Uh, He's trying to massage your butthole <laughs> later. Malcolm Hatchet? You look like Lady Lala. <laughs> Can look, I? No, I got one. I got one. You look like Reese Heroin Spoon. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like that one. You look like uh, you look like Brittany Murphy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Damn. Wow. Man, yeah. those Joelberg chants make this. He's like obviously in love with me. Hell yeah. Can oh. we? Uh, so do you have a full oh, bush? Do you, do you have a full bush? <laughs> I mean, is that why you're like... So well, I'm getting there. Why? I'm getting there. Why? I, I like your thing. style, though. You're definitely well, going no bra. You have, like, cool, like, perky oh. tits, right? Well, obviously I'm an idiot, and I thought you might be fucking nicer to me if I didn't wear a bra, but oh. that's bullshit. Well, uh... That was a misconception. You have no idea how mean we would that's have been true. had we uh, <laughs> worn yes. a bra. We've been... T yeah, we've been <laughs> jump more. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so Bridget, what's I your? What's I, your I, I didn't know you could milk a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Br Bridget, you are you are so for the podcast listeners. You are so cute and charismatic. Yeah. Uh, what's your love life like? You hook up a lot. It's a bartender at a dive bar. You have somebody you go steady with. I do have a steady. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you, that guy's a real goat, you know what I mean? But I used to be a total slut. You were? Yeah, Can you a total tell slut. Us 
Snap. Snap. Can you tell us about one of your like? Can you with that? And, but let me just tell you before you answer this. Okay. The more honest the guest is on this show, the better it is. The more now I'm gonna ask the question. What's the yeah. sluttiest thing that you think you sort of have ever done? Like, what's that dirty fucking shit that just popped in your head first? The brothers. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> wow. Were they conjoined? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said my brothers. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you mean hey. black? Wait, do you mean black dudes or? Yeah, she was hanging out with Malcolm oh. and his friends before the show. The brothers. You like homeless dudes? <laughs> you live in a car, right? Hell, that's my a house. house. Right? Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What happens when you put her vulva in your Volvo? <laughs> my check engine light come on. <laughs> Awesome, I swear. So the brothers, where'd you meet them at? Was that a planned thing? I like worked with them. Wow. What was at a that? fucking dive bar. At a dive bar. Were they yeah. security guards or something? No, they were barbacks, busboys. Oh, yeah, more like barebacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to you, fucking dump that ice right in there. Uh, refill the old stock, you know what I'm talking about? It rhymed with stock. What? It rhymed with stock. So um, you, you did two brothers at once. Was like yeah. one each hole, one of three? Like what, um, what happened? Let me just remind front you. And back. Let me just remind you. The more honest you are, the better <laughs> it is. Uh, front and back. So we mean like vagina, butthole? Yeah, no, she was a shish kebab. Nah, nah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, like, like a chat. I have a little class. <laughs> you, mean, <laughs> you mean mouth and vagina? Chinese finger cuffs. So yeah, mouth and vagina. Choo -choo well, I mean, I don't yeah. know why you think. I'm not. Uh, not I'm not going to do anal with two brothers. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah, that would be deplorable. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is so hot, though. Unprotected? No condoms, right? You guys oh, are just yeah, fucking yeah. having fun. Wow, that is so hot. How long ago was that? Uh, two years. Two years. How long have you been yeah. going steady with this guy? A month. What's the kinkiest thing you've done with him in the month? Nothing. Of? He's vanilla. Whoa. So yeah. he's not here tonight, huh? No. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> How vanilla is he? What do, you, what do you wish he would do to you that he doesn't do? Oh, like tie me up and have his way with me. Yeah. Yeah. Tie like you be up. Be like manly about it. Tie you up to some railroad tracks. <laughs> 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 if he would have his way with you, he would probably uh, turn you in at a pawn shop for a hotter girlfriend. <laughs> no, oh, I'm kidding. What are you I'm talking kidding. about? No, uh, I'm kidding. Honestly, Bridget, I think you're pr one of the hottest Oompa Loompas I've ever seen in my <laughs> entire <laughs> life. We got some jumper cables in the car, guys. I don't even know what that means. Uh, um, so... <laughs> wow, Bridget, that is fucking adorable. You hooked up with brothers. Wow. It's been good. What? It's been good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to I'm make I feel bad about myself for another month now. What? What'd you say? How about I? My biggest fan over there. What'd what? you say? Over here. Or you? Okay, forget it. Yeah, um, exactly. Bridget. Uh, so, well, there you go. There you go. Fun times. Nice to meet you. There she goes. Bridget Renee. Pulled out of the bucket. Anything can happen. She's got fucking cute little nipples on yeah, her. All right, now. That fucking, you can tell that shirt has been through so much that yeah. it's like sort of hot. Like it's got like little fucking coffee it's been, it's stains been, on it and shit. It's been through everything but the wash. <laughs> the Great Depression. I bet, she, I bet she has an extended labia. Okay, Red Brian. Man. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Robert Woods. <laughs> Robert Woods. All right. So uh, this is also my very first time in Las Vegas. Uh, <laughs> it's not like it is in the pictures. No, I found that out. Um, last night I was at the liquor store because uh, we're here to party with some friends, and there was a toothless old hobo who started singing Tony Braxton behind us. It was actually very charming. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, so I was like thinking it's gonna be very hot down here. We're gonna be wearing swimsuits. I wanted to lose some weight. So I read some self-help books and I learned a few things. Like I'm lazy as fuck. That shit was not gonna happen. <laughs> Obviously we have a bunch of overachievers in the fucking crowd, all right. Man, so uh, 
drove down. My dog was in the car. She was freaking out the whole way. It was kind of almost as though she knew I was not financially prepared for any sort of calamity whatsoever. She's just looking at me like, really? Like, it was fucking stupid. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah. Robert Woods. There he hey, is. That, that's uh, me. Wow. Dude, I'm Fuck so yeah. glad. I'm so glad the wizard gave you that courage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. My God. Man, you look like an unemployed Thundercat. <laughs> wow. It is incredible. I oh, mean, you. you really, really. I mean, I don't even know where to fucking begin with this. I don't know which one you are, the lion, the witch, or the rope wardrobe. <laughs> so stupid. You, you um, like to play with your hair. You're sassy, aren't yeah. you? I, yeah. it, just, it gets in the way. I you, am a little sassy. Do you yeah. twirl it a lot? Do you, like, do you fuck with it? <laughs> yeah, I do. I can tell. I could yeah. tell you only like to perform at places that have fans blowing on the stage. So you can it helps, yeah. Really fuck with it. It helps the ambiance. Wow. Robert, so when you say this is your first time in Las Vegas, where are you from? Prim? Uh, you see. look like you're the king of Prim. <laughs> <laughs> the prime of Prim. The old legend of Prim. Tony, this is Whiskey he traveled, Pete. <laughs> he traveled long and far for that night in Las Vegas. The king of Prim went to no longer be the big fish in the small pond. He put his hair up in a tie, got in his convertible, and drove away. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Where are you from? Seattle. Oh, okie dokie. That makes sense. Duh. Uh, <laughs> would you fly here on free spirit? <laughs> Man, look, you can't even fucking help yourself. I can't. What, I can't. What, are you currently uh, inside of a Head and Shoulders commercial? <laughs> yeah, they pay me for every toss. Really. By the way, for the podcast listeners listening to this show, uh, he looks exactly like if Ronda Rousey had. Uh, okay, well, I guess. Uh, I guess he looks like <laughs> Michael Bolton. Uh, how did you know that was Michael Bolt? <laughs> so I have the eyes of a goddamn eagle, oh, Brian Redman. Oh, uh, okay, oh, so God. let's get into it. Well, what made you come to Las Vegas? Uh, we go on a trip with our friends every year, and it's usually San Diego, but we just decided Las Vegas is here. Your friends, you mean the rest of the Kings of Leon? <laughs> <laughs> no, he means Dorothy, the Tin Man, <laughs> Toto. Oh, you got here on Scarecrow. the Scarecrow. You got here via the Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Right, right. Um, so the, you're on your trip from Seattle right now. That's correct. And you saw, you listen to Kill Tony sometimes? Uh, very frequently, yeah. 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 And you saw that this was all happening at once, and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to the dive bar. Did your friends come with you? No. Oh, good. Didn't. You'll be able to tell them you killed tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you, all your friends have awesome, you know, uh, you know, are they are all of their characteristics built around their hair as well? No, 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 not no? even close. I Just blow you. them out of the water. You're the hair guy. Absolutely. You would, you would uh, hair blow them out of the water. <laughs> uh, how long do you spend on that thing? What is that? Yeah, I have very little time. No, I don't do anything to it. Oh, that's the it. biggest bunch of bullshit yeah. I've ever heard in my life. If you put your hand through it 15 times since I met you, I'm pretty sure you do a little <laughs> something. I to get it. out of bed like this. Yeah. When? When was the last time you morphed into a wolf? <laughs> I got a question. Never, actually, you no. have more hair conditioning than Vegas has air conditioning. <laughs> it's actually just a really smart Does the Vegas carpet fit. match the drapes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so you've never Gross. trimmed your pubes. All right, good no, to know. No. All right, so Robert, uh, did you do stand-up in Seattle? No, no, it was my first time ever. This is your first time ever doing stand-up. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Yeah. <laughs> There you go. He's terrible. You have the mustache of a man that's been doing it 45 years. So <laughs> it's very exciting for us to see you uh, pop your cherry. Another oh. ha hand through the hair. Thank By you. the way, every time he puts his hand through his hair, you should have a sound effect for that. That'd be fucking amazing. Because <laughs> oh, okay. he, he just can't even help himself. It's like every fucking 10 seconds. But don't think too much about it. I want to talk with you about other right. stuff. Okay, Robert? Let's uh, so let's just jump into it. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a claims adjuster for a small insurance company. How small? Uh, pretty small. We only service five states. Uh, five states. And this insurance company clearly is Geico because you're the caveman. <laughs> right? So easy, even yeah. you could do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Huh. 
So what are some of like the small claims that you're in for? There it is. <laughs> yes. I fucking knew it. No, I just do uh, auto claims, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was the old other. goatee rub for uh, for the <laughs> <Right>. podcast <laughs> listeners. Um, so what kind of auto claims? Like, what's your most recent claim? Oh, dude, it's always people hitting deer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he just grazed the bottom of his hair. Yeah, he's still touching it, though. <laughs> he can't help himself. I, can't, I, can't. I fucking love it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets in the way a little bit, yeah. Maybe you cut it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, but do you want to do that your whole life? Always be like, uh, Do you want to hear that noise to, for the yeah. rest of your life? Huh? <laughs> Is that magic twinkling? All right. So your most recent claim, what was that? A uh, deer hit, yeah. A deer hit? All the time. In here in Vegas? Oh, no, you're no, in no, Seattle. No, no. Well, That's actually, right. we don't service people in Nevada. <laughs> oh, the old nose rub. Nose wow. hair. That was nose hair. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So uh, who hit the deer? The guy that uh, you're defending, or are you defending the deer in this uh, one? We don't defend people, man. We just pay, pay, pay all day. Well, you hurt the car, like we're going to pay. <laughs> it sounds like you're lying. Uh, wow. That's true. That's true. I don't even know I don't even know if I could believe these tales that you're telling. Okay, Robert. Uh so what else have you been doing since you when did you get into Vegas? Uh just last night. Just last night. What did you do last night? I know that first night in Vegas is always fun. You always do a little more than you thought you were gonna do. You spend the rest of your time hungover. Is that what happened to you? Nah, 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 nah. We went to the liquor store, we went uh-huh. to the Mexican grocery store. I'd never been to a Mexican grocery store. Wow. It was pretty rad. Pretty yeah. rad. A lot What'd of you get from stuff? the Mexican grocery store? I got a Mexican turkey sandwich, and uh, it was good. That's Mexican. just a turkey sandwich, dude. Yeah, <laughs> quote, unquote, Mexican. you know what I mean? Joel, oh, it's Joel, poor quality Joel, turkey can you sandwich. remind me what uh, Mexican, uh, what is Mexican turkey again? Like what, oh, it's, uh, well, you mean exactly? You want to know the scientific composition of the turkey? <laughs> yes, that was the question I was asking. What did it taste like? Dude, it was ridiculously good. Like carne asada, dude. <laughs> 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 wow. So what else do you have planned for your trip here in Vegas? Are you going to do anything crazy? Cirque du Soleil? Uh, go to the no, world's no, biggest thermometer? Anything like that? Uh, no, we're just going to walk around, dip in and out of places, and uh, just take a look around. Wow. Go on some rides, maybe, the roller coaster or something. Yeah. Go hit up Fremont, walk around the Weird Art District. You play music? I do, yeah. What, uh, bass player? Guitar and sing. Wow, really? What's the name of your band? Uh, spicy tunas. Spicy tunas. <laughs> Are you on yeah, Spotify? Plural? I would have thought plural? it. Plural. Spicy tunas. <laughs> yeah, spicy tunas. <laughs> I would have thought it would have been called the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, too late. Okay, sure. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I get it. That one guy, that big guy that protects the kids all the time. <laughs> no, that's Hagrid. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Oh, I thought he looked like Hagrid too. Spicy. He, he looks like another Harry Potter <laughs> character. Yeah, the Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Uh, what kind of music do you guys play? Uh, I call it beach pop. It's kind of like a and southern oh. other <laughs> punky. Uh, is it like yacht rock? Kind of. Can you? Yeah, no. Are we looking for this? Yeah. It's, it's like kind of garage rocky, punky, surfy. Can you give us an example of like one of your uh. lyrics? Would you mind? So would you guys like to hear a little verse of the yeah. spicy tuna? Let's go. Come on, give them a little uh, something. They want to hear yeah. it. Uh, so I don't usually sing this song, but it's like. Give uh, me a tempo. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, gotta get up, gotta get out Up to the water Gotta feel the warmth of the sunshine On my skin Fuck yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <sighs> Thank you very much, Malcolm Lay down Wow yeah. Some people call it beach pop Everybody else calls it unlistenable <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Tony. You might put him up. Put him up. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's the sound. Uh, wow. So how long have this spicy Ring. tuna has been together? Uh, a couple of years now. I think we're going into our third year, like two and a quarter years now. You guys ever uh, do any live shows or anything like that? All the time. Anytime we can. In Seattle? Only in Seattle. We'd wow. love to bring. I heard uh, that, that Kurt Cobain heard your band and he killed himself again. <laughs> <laughs> this is from <laughs> Seattle. It hits, it literally hits close to home. <laughs> um, all right, any other fun facts about you, Robert? 
I don't know. Uh, I was raised Mormon. I ran away from home and like lead with that, for, like, dude. Three hours. <laughs> you ran away from home. Uh, yeah, for like three hours. And then you just kept running and running and running. <laughs> and then when I got to the other side, I just kept on running. Right. And then I had nothing Bring. else to do, so I figured Bring. I'd just keep Bring. on running Bring. after that. Bring. You look like both Forrest Gump when he kept running and Lieutenant Dan at the same damn time. <laughs> it is incredible. And there's Bubba. <laughs> 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 Sri Sri and the prisoner of Azkaban? No, I, you're not listening. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, Robert. Well, uh, it was a pleasure to uh, to you meet so you. Uh, Malcolm, anything great? else for Robert? What do you think about this guy? You look like Post Malone if he slept in a van. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. There he goes, Robert <laughs> Woods, everybody. On to the next one we go. You guys having fun out there? It's Kill Tony Las Vegas. Anything can happen. It's Robert Wood's first time ever doing stand-up. Greasiest hands in the business. Ooh, this looks like a really interesting name. I'm excited to see what this person uh, is like. Put your hands together for Spyro Siavellis. Spyro. Spiro Siavellis. Spiro Siavellis. Fuck yeah. There he is. What's up, everybody? Thank you. Thank you. Vegas, man, they got some fucked up strip clubs here in Vegas, let me tell you. I had a friend, she called me one time, she's like, Spiro, let's go to a strip club. I'm like, ah, no, that's not my thing. She goes, but there's going to be a midget stripper there. Like, yeah, fuck it, let's go, let's check this shit out, right? So I come over a couple hours later, my pockets were filled with half dollars ready to go. (laughs) I figured she'd appreciate that shit, you know? Doesn't get that too often, sir. I walk in, everyone's doing a chant, Bridget the midget, Bridget the midget. And I'm like, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. I see Bridget, she's climbing up the pole. She looks like a fucking koala climbing up that pole, looking for eucalyptus. And then going down, she looked like Mario at the end of the level when she scurries down the flagpole, you know? (laughs) Doot, 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 doot. Fireworks started going off in the club. It was fucking weird, guys. Thank you. I'm Spiro. Fuck yeah. Spiro Siavellis. Siavellis, yeah. This is how you do it. Fuck yeah. You are one of my favorite comedians I've ever seen that is also shaped like Brian Redman. Exactly. (laughs) I mean, you and him have the exact same. Look at that. You must have played hockey too, right? You guys have, you guys have cho- both right. of those good hits. Hey, if, if we were to give a hug to each other, we would have to bow a little. Yeah. I also think you guys would get stuck to each other if yeah. we each other. If, if, are you an Audi belly button? What if he was an Audi? Wow, Nothing. look at that. And you guys interlock for yeah. one. Uh, like an Ikea furniture. I honestly, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't recognize him out of his umpire gear. <laughs> you do look like a home plate umpire. Uh, Spyro. Yes, sir. How long he are you doing <laughs> stand-up? That was a very good set. Very. How about Thank one you. more time for Spyro, everybody? <laughs> that name is... Is that, uh, is that your real name, Spyro? Or are you named after the dragon? Uh, like, it's, it's Spiro. So, like, the vice president for, you know, what's-his-face? That fucking... Reagan. Not Reagan. Spiro. Nixon. Oh. Nixon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all remember who the vice president <laughs> for Nixon was. Us Kill Tony fans. He uh, wasn't even sperm yet. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> uh, what is that? Greek? Greek, yes, sir. Sp- Spiro. Spiro, yes, sir. What does it mean? I the Greek god know. of Cheez Its. <laughs> <laughs> Spiro, how long have you been on stand up? Stand up two years, improv about 13 years. So. 13 years yeah. doing improv. All here in Vegas? Uh, I started in LA and now I'm here in Vegas. How long have you been here in Vegas? Uh, eight years. Wow, yeah, what yeah. made you come out here? Uh, I played uh, semi pro hockey, so I played hockey out here for a while. Get the fuck out of here. You're a goalie. <laughs> no, defenseman. You're not a goalie. Nope, defenseman. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you look like you're still wearing your pads. <laughs> oh, man. You played semi-pro hockey. Yeah. Born in L.A. No, born in Chicago, moved to L.A. <laughs> Thank wow, you. Look at Two that. Two people. I mean, we all played semi-pro hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it here in uh, Vegas so far? I mean, yeah, it's not yeah, bad. It's yeah. got its ups and its downs, just like anywhere else. What's one of your favorite things to do? What do you like to do to have fun here? You gamble? Uh, 
Gamble a little bit, sports betting, uh, do filmmaking, all that kind of st good stuff. What so. kind of films have you made? Uh, wow. Just like short wow. films, wow. comedies, <laughs> some dramas there just to show some other, you know, Mostly some other sides free of me. Cameras. You ever had two brothers? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could film some crazy pornos around here. That's true. And I'm just talking about the British guy in the sound booth. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Fuck yeah, there's that finger. I know what you do with that dirty finger, dude. <laughs> Another one. He just yeah, kissed he's it. Tasting this it. This guy's out of control. I love his style. You're fucking rock and roll, dude. How about one more time for the badass fucking 70 year old in the sound booth? Sorry I keep calling you that, but that's badass. That you hang out in a fucking cool ass rock club with cigarette smoking shit. I fucking think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so, Spiro, what else do you do for fun? Like, you, uh, you have a girlfriend? Yes, got a girlfriend. How long have you been with her? Uh, four years now. Four years, yeah. Wow. Have you always been uh, built like that? <laughs> I mean, the, the midsection got a little bigger over the years, but yeah. yeah, pretty much like this since high school. What do you think caused that? What do you think caused that? Probably mistake? hockey. You're in the yeah. fucking squatting position the whole game. So, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, that no? was it. Uh, it's just An athletic uh, sport did it. Athletic sport. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that. Yeah. You look like you've definitely done some time in the penalty box for icing. <laughs> and, by, and by icing, I mean cake icing. You oh, know okay. what I'm saying? Gotcha. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I think a fat hockey joke. I've never gotten to do one of those, <laughs> and I thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. Anytime. How old are you? 30. 30. Yeah. Well, it's going to get worse. I know. <laughs> are you a good fighter? Did you get into a lot of fights in the hockey? I got a couple. I wasn't a fighter, though. We had other guys that did Never that. Never mind. You were great. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, shit. Bombing in Las Vegas. Great. <laughs> oh, shit. Joelberg just had a, uh, a little... Fucking uh, seizure. <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy, Brittany. I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> Whoa. Brittany Spears just shaved her head. Oh, oh wow. The shit just got real. Spiro, what's another interesting fun fact about you if you were doing like a live interview or something like that? Oh something. my god, a live interview is super fun, fun fact about me. Um, yeah, if you had like 13 years of improv experience and you were on stage during an interview in your hometown, yeah. the number one live podcast yes. in the world, what would you uh, want to be brought up? Yes, and uh, <laughs> man, before I dated my girl, I dated a lot of fucking crazy girls. I got yeah. a lot of weird fucking stories about that shit. Crazy yeah. You drive one. me crazy. <laughs> Craziest, craziest one, one. Yeah. shortest. Uh, I was about to fuck a girl, and her mom came in, we came in wearing lingerie, and then made me choose between her or the daughter. No way. Yeah, Vegas. or both, or both of them. She gave me the the shot with both of them. Is this Vegas? This was in Vegas. Yeah, yeah this was a couple years it ago. Is. What did What did you do? Well, the girl didn't seem cool with it, so I just stuck with the girl because I wanted to get some. But you know, I bad it, decision, it, I know, my I friend. I fucked up. I fucked Mama up. Mama knows best, Ooh. sir. Yeah. You go for the mom. The girl <laughs> that seems upset will just end up eating your ass because yeah. she wants to make up for lost ground. You know what I'm saying? Mom yeah. works hard for that. Yeah, you're, 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 that your girl would do <laughs> shit you've never thought before possible That's if true. you fuck her mom. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Tony Hinchcliffe School of Love. <laughs> <laughs> I really have no. Uh... <laughs> yes, it's yeah. another day in the classroom of the School okay. of Love. Today we learned a lot, didn't we? <laughs> Don't ever fuck the girl that you're gonna get to fuck anyway. <laughs> because you might not get to fuck the mom again. Yeah. This, this has been another episode of Tony Hinchcliffe's School of Love, <laughs> live on Kill Tony. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Spiro? Malcolm, any thoughts on this guy? What do nah, you I, I like your set. It was real good, yeah. man. Thanks, man. Thank How long you. you been doing comedy? Uh, co stand up two years. Yeah, going, yeah. Dude. Thanks, yeah. dude. The improv yeah. helped you out with like how comfortable you are on stage. Yeah, you can yeah. Tell. thank you. Yeah. Still got her mom's number. <laughs> I got her on Facebook. I can link her to you. Yeah, tell, tell well, her to poke me. There's, right. enough whore, <laughs> there's enough whores in this audience. You don't have to get uh, some mom, right? I don't know. The mom sounds like fucking fun. I want the fun. mama! <laughs> Malcolm wants the mom. The no, mom no. looks like she'd be a regular here, so that's, oh, you know, I'll get you a picture. Her. There you go. Can I, <laughs> I love it. Can I just say, I, yeah. on a comedy level, I really liked uh, your space work and physicality. I thought it added a lot to the set. Oh, thank you. Appreciate oh, it, man. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate Look at fucking thank you. space work. <laughs> Uh, Spiro, uh, it was nice to meet you. Congratulations. Nice to meet you your first appearance ever on Kill Tony. Awesome. 13 Thank you guys. years of improv, a few years of stand up. There he goes. Spiro Cervellas. A couple people's first time.
And then you got that guy, a fucking veteran of Las Vegas, turning down moms and daughters and shit. Some real people here. Wow, this looks like an interesting name. Now let's see what happens here. <laughs> Put your hands together for Gutter Town Anthony. Oh boy, there he is. What's up, everybody? So I get I get fucking pissed off whenever people can't admit the shit that they like, like porn mainly. Most people watch fucking porn. Just fucking admit it. So, like, I like this one where this guy's making out with this passed out chick who just got, like, gang banged by, like, seven midgets. But I admit that I like Snow White. I told my little daughter that, and she was like, that's not funny. I was like, well, whatever, you're six, what do you know? Fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to hell. But, uh, you know, hell doesn't seem so bad because I've heard people talk about heaven kind of a lot, and uh, I never heard anybody once mention about getting laid. And like, yeah, down in hell, there's supposed to be pain and suffering and torture, but the definition of torture kind of changes if your dick's hard, am I right? Thank you. There it is. A minute from Guttertown Anthony. Fuck yeah. Can I just say I was shocked that his set was about porn with a name like Guttertown? Well, can I just say, Guttertown Anthony, that you are one of the funniest Kid Rock's roadies that we've ever had uh, on this show. Thank you, You sir. look like you have lived a full life, and there's still a chance that you might be like 32 or 33 or something like that. But 32. You're, are you fucking serious? Wow. Wow. I know that. Don't let the Edward James what? almost ba, 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 ba. fucking you. You look you. like if meth did meth, and then... <laughs> And then, and then smoked crack just for the fuck of it. No, you know what I mean? Just because it was there. You're like Edward James almost. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look like an angry leprechaun. <laughs> that is true. That's and just a devil. fact. <laughs> I'm not as Irish as uh, Oklahoma John back there, though. He's gone. Fuck it. Wow. I there you know, go. I didn't, know, uh, I, didn't, so I didn't know meth made a face lotion. No, oh. that's this is. Uh, they don't. Can't you tell? This fuck. is it. So I'm right. You have had a lot of fun in your young life, right? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Can you want to talk about that at all? Sure, man. Uh, yeah, grew up in Stockton, California. Hey, I love Stockton. Shout out to my, uh, to our friends, the Diaz brothers, 209. The one good thing about Stockton, or the two good things. Yeah, love there's, them. there's yep. not much to do out there but do drugs and shit like that. So, so what uh, was your drug of choice? Coke used to be. Yeah. Now I don't really do anything. I smoke weed sometimes, but... Don't really do anything. So you still do. You still... You I mean, I'll do Coke if I don't got to pay for it. Right. <laughs> Are you allergic to sunblock? <laughs> I never go outside, man. I'm this ugly from years past. Wow. Why, why, why do you think you have that? Why do you think you have this Daniel Day-Lewis type oh, of uh, face on a 32-year-old body? Whenever I was a kid. Oh, is that what it was? Real well, bad. I like that, you know, there you go. I love that you've taken a proactive approach to your <laughs> to your show business career. I can't afford that shit. Wow. I fucking love it, man. What do you do for work? What what gas station do you squeegee cars at? I'm an audio engineer. What? I'm an audio engineer. Audio engineer. Wow, yeah, okay. That makes sense. You look like a semi-pro BMXer. I fucking used to be, man. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> an audio engineer where are you audio engineering at mostly I do corporate shit now but it used to be like play, like I'm doing here tomorrow oh really uh, I do wherever wherever I can work at but corporate is where you get more money and it's just talking heads what do like you this. do for fun around Vegas I, I'm fucking pretty much done with fun man I'm a writer and I, so I write shit mostly. what do you write I suicide write every- notes no <laughs> not anymore <laughs> That was one thing I was never really too good at. Never follow through. Um, I don't know. I write short stories, and I used to write for a couple magazines out here. And what magazines? Smash and Vegas Rocks. What? <laughs> <laughs> what Smash? Smash is like a local. What's going on with all the shows and shit like that? Festivals. Huh. All right. Um, so I mean, I really I feel like I'm missing an answer out of you when you say you don't do anything for fun that you write. I just don't believe it. Well, They're I write my name. Guttertown Anthony's because everybody pronounces my last name Gomez. It looks like games with a Z. I don't want anybody to think that it's a fucking lame-ass stage name. 
and I hate explaining it. Guttertown is my Guttertown's not a lame ass stage <laughs> name. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't want anybody to think I had a lame ass stage name, so I changed my last name Games in, and made my first name Guttertown. Guttertown uh, is a cartoon that we're making. Oh, well there. You, you can go. check it out on YouTube. There we you do go. short films too. All right. Well, there you go. A little plug from uh, Gutter Town, Anthony. Snuck in there. What part of town do you live in? Shitty part. Northeast, like Nellis in Sahara right now. Oh, listen to the rumbles. I had a feeling I'd get a good answer out of that. Listen to that. People just started yelling the shit and burning area. crosses in the middle of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's it like up there? What's your neighborhood like? What are these people all moaning about? Oh, uh, because people get murdered up there. Really? Why? Drugs? I don't fucking know, man. Yeah, sure you don't know. All right, sure. That's the says the guy that's probably responsible for all of it. <laughs> <clears throat> man, well, how far did you have to travel to get here? How far of a drive is that? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Really? What kind of car do you have? F-150? Honda Accord Cross Tour. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> Man, interesting stuff. No other fun facts about you? You're not like a lightweight pro wrestler or anything <laughs> like that? I got four daughters. That's Whoa. Like, four daughters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Same mama or four different mamas? Uh, same mom with three of them and then one's a step. Wow. <laughs> so you're Mexican. <laughs> I'm a little Mexican, yeah. You are a little Mexican. A little Mexican, a little Spanish, a little of this, a little of that. I'm an American. How old are your four daughters? 11, 10, 8, and about to be 6. Wow. 11 and 10, back to back. You just kept cream pie huh? <laughs> Look at you, just busting away. When in doubt, away. don't pull out. Wow, I guess so. That's the method if you want four do- daughters. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, don't pull out. <laughs> My God. Are those all with the same woman? Uh, Yeah. Except for I got one, one step, so it's my uh, girlfriend's daughter. Oh, okay. Do you secretly hate her? <laughs> Which one? Oh, my step? No, she's cool as shit. Play you, video games but you, it shit. seems like you secretly hate one of your daughters after that answer. I thought he meant my... Which one? I just assumed he was talking about my ex-wife. I was like, of course, man. Fuck. Wow. All right. Well, what's the worst thing your ex-wife has done to you? She fucked my drummer. Oh. Whoa. Joel Bert. Joel. Wow. And, and my dad died, and I was in the bathroom crying. She called me a crybaby. Oh, fuck her. Why and would she say cunt. that? God damn, she fucked your drummer? Yeah, and he was supposed Jeez. to be my best friend. I heard Damn. he's quite the sex symbol. Maybe in Stockton. Damn. Uh, oh, no, I yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow. So how'd you find out that she fucked your drummer? She just told me when, right when I woke up one day. I woke up and she's like, hey, I got something to tell you. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a great fucking day. She's yeah. like, he hit it really good. <laughs> he banged it out. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Did you did you, you just heard a click track going in the other room, and then you walked in. <laughs> gave her a rim job and a rim <laughs> shot. <laughs> she gave him head. Damn. <laughs> there was a lot to snare at. Yeah. Yeah. They rubbed skins. Oh, jeez. His name was Tom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fuck yeah. <laughs> What's the name of your band? Uh, I don't have a band. I mean, well, we yeah, the, uh, before she fucked your oh. drummer, what was the name of the band? Sa- Sound of War. Sound of Ooh. War. It's like death metal. Yeah. Are you serious? Are you, what, what, what were you in this thing? Uh, I sang and really? uh, played guitar. Can you give us any? I love somebody just said shit. They know exactly what's about to happen. Can you, give us, can you give us an example of some of your uh, heavy metal? Uh, can you guys back him up with a little something crazy? Come on, here he is, gutter t- Go fuck yourself! That was pretty good. It was screaming and shit like that, man. Wow, can you give us just a little bit more? Yeah, do that again. <laughs> yeah. Say go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself! <laughs> fuck you, Tony! Yeah. It's fuck like, yeah. I haven't done that shit in years, man. That's like Kennison. That's like, that's like a Kennison vibe. That shit just yeah. scared me. Yeah, it's Hell like... Yeah. Scam Kennison. God, that break, <laughs> that breakup yeah. must have been loud. 
<laughs> mm, all right, gutter town. Well, I mean, uh, very fun stuff. How long? Do I ask you how long you've been doing stand up? It's actually my first time trying. First time ever doing stand up. <laughs> you were a fun interview. There he goes, Gutter Town Anthony, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at Gutter Town, Instagram Gutter Town Cartoon. Yeah. Fuck yeah, there he goes. Hell yeah. One of his pimples just popped on stage, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gutter Town Anthony. A uh, little fun fact: those of you getting pulled out of the bucket, I found out before tonight's show. Uh, you know, I made I, I made Malcolm a regular your second time, third time on third the show, time. and. Uh, I found out tonight before the show, smoking out back, that Malcolm signed up for the bucket for five months every Monday without getting pulled out of the bucket. Fucked Isn't up. that crazy? That's I was like, up. whoa. That's such a crazy, cool Kill Tony fun fact that I wanted to mention it to you guys. It's fucking persistence. Did, 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 did we talk to you before? Like, was there a time that you said hello to us or we had any ah, conversation? Yeah. No, I had yeah. never met him before uh, meeting him on stage. Here's another one. Anything can happen. Put your hands together for Mark Rolo. Whoa, here he is, right in the front. Look at this. Mark Rolo, everybody. All right, what's up, guys? Yeah, I just uh, flew in today from New Orleans. Three-hour flight, you know, so I couldn't spend my whole time masturbating quietly in the laboratory. Uh, anybody travel around here? All right, we're for a traveling company. Everybody asks, hey, bro, where's the best place you've ever been? And I tell them, uh, Jerusalem. And I went to the Western Wall. It reminds me of losing my virginity. And I was a little bit confused when I went there. I was feeling shit I've never felt before. My heart was pumping. And there was a smell of blood in the air. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean that's all you got, you son of a bitch? That was, that was 30 seconds, by the way. That's Don't half a minute. It's only my second time. Don't give this. up. Finish it. Finish it. Do something. Fucking do something, dude. No, don't. Don't, Malcolm. No. You better do something right now. You better, lay down, you better fucking it. figure it out real quick. You better stop telling yourself you don't know what you're going to do and do something right now. You better say boo. All right. Your time's up. Forget it. Uh, wow. 30 Mark, seconds. That is one of the worst performances in the history of the show. Uh... Come on, dude. How dare you? You look like, you know, and this hurts because you seem like a competitive guy. You yeah. clearly at one point were a professional figure skater and, <laughs> you know, now what is that? Why, why only 30 seconds? You did exactly half as much time as you earned. I got through all my material. I just went a little too quick. The, 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 the other two people were their first times yeah. on stage, and they did a minute. <laughs> so perhaps maybe when you were preparing this 30 seconds, you left space for laughter? Uh, that hurts. Shut Come up. Is your, is, your, is your sex game 30 seconds too? 35. Because tonight you are a premature ejaculator. <laughs> um, no. I like your style, Mark. Uh, it was a, uh, a rough set. How long? This is your second time ever on stage. When, where was your first time at? Uh, two years ago in New Orleans. Two years ago in New Orleans. And you're from New Orleans. Yeah. And I, you did, flew I did three in minutes. That was three minutes, right. And then you decided, was that, you said two years ago? Yeah. Two years later, comeback tour. Let's do this. Let's do 60 seconds this time, but you know what? Keep them wanting more. Let's do 30 seconds on a 60-second format. Everything's going to be guns a-blazing. Maybe I'll stage dive at the end of it, right? Everything's just going to be perfect. Were you planning on stage diving at some point? Yeah, why not? All right. Um... So, wow. Uh, what do you do for a living? I work for a travel website. You work for a travel website. Um, you're not going to... Uh, they don't need the help. They don't need the help. Wow. I think we might have a... Uh, we might have a... Uh, it's, it's, it's not that one guy, right? The annoying guy, the Trivago guy that everyone wants no, to murder and no. choke and duck. No, no. I think that this definitely might it's be... Uh, we might need to throw this guy a line. You know what I mean? A, uh, perhaps a... Uh, uh, some cocaine? No. Um, I'll take it. Anyway, so what do you do for the travel website? Uh, so I manage all the hotels. You tell Orleans. people how to crash and burn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a secret. Is there a secret to getting the cheapest hotel room, especially in Vegas? There you go. Book the day of. 
When you arrive. Book, book the day out. Yeah. yeah, on like hotels tonight or something like that, yeah, right? Unless there's a big event in town, there's always going to be a room. So right. Yeah. Unless there's a big event in town like Kill Tony at the dive bar. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? <laughs> How long have you been working for travel websites for? Oh, about six years. Six years? Yeah. That's a long time. I know. And wow. Huh. Y- you have fun? M- you moved, have a lo- moved around a lot. Uh, lived in Houston, Michigan, New Orleans. What's fun about New Orleans to you? Drinking, man. That's it. That's what you're into. That's what's, your dr- what's your drink of choice? What kind of Chardonnay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a whiskey guy. Whiskey straight. Really? Whiskey straight? Come on, Mark. We all... All right. Um, wow. What's your favorite kind of whiskey? Uh, Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. It's got Fuck. my name in it. So. Yeah. That's do, you, do you finish the whole bottle? <laughs> or stop halfway through? Boom. Fuck yeah. The English guy's clapping both hands over his head. Fuck yeah. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody stop. Hold on. Mark just said something very profound. You just said the words. Can you repeat that for this audience? And look out at them and tell them what you just said. I had a feeling this was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't prepare. So what do you mean? Like, it was either going to happen or you weren't going to get pulled out of the bucket. Yeah. I, ro- I wrote this on the plane. I actually forgot a joke that I just remembered. So can I tell it? You just remembered a joke? Fuck yeah. 30 more seconds from Mark Rolo, everybody. This better be the funniest fucking 30 seconds in the history of the show. No, I'm just kidding, Mark. Come on, let's give him another chance. Mark Rolo, it's his second time ever on stage. So I couldn't jack off in the laboratory for, you know, the three-hour flight on the way out here. So I caught up on a little reading. uh, Caitlyn Jenner's latest book. Anybody read it in here? Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of he said, she said bullshit. I only got about halfway through. Fuck yeah. For those of you listening to the podcast, he actually did just stage dive at the end of that joke. And uh, he's now on the ground, unconscious. Everybody moved out of the Everyone's way. Everyone's taking a piss on him. Like that's... <laughs> Mark, you're fucking awesome. So what makes you want to do stand-up comedy? Like, what makes it enticing to you? And why are you only sort of dil- dilly-dabbling in it? Oh, I'm just a fan of the show. And oh, cool. I have airline points. So I just, you know, and you guys were coming in town anyway? Excuse me? You and your friends were coming in town anyway? No, I have airline points. So I just thought I'd come out for the weekend. Oh, for Kill Tony. Yeah, I not come out to New Orleans yet. So. so you came here specifically for Kill Tony? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Hell Yeah. <laughs> You know what, Mark? You're one of my favorite performers of the night so far. You Guys. know what? You know what? Another 30 seconds on the yeah. clock. <laughs> so All right, here, here we go. Here. 30 more seconds. Want it. Here, you want know it, what? Let's try something interesting, because I want to see if Mark actually can be funny at all. I'm going to do something we've never done before on this show. I'm going to let you read a note that I've taken to myself okay. that I think is actually funny. So let's see. I have to find one first. Hold on. Welcome back to another episode of Tony's Notes. I want to do one, too. Um, Okay. The note is, it's nice to be one of the top young rising comedians. Oh, wow. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Way to... (laughs) Fuck yeah. It's a branding branding infringement right there, but... uh, Okay, hold on a second. (laughs) That's on. If you read that... Okay, hold on. All right, let me find it. I'm not reading your grocery list, am I? Oh, come on. You did it again, Mark. (laughs) You read my goddamn grocery list. Come on, everybody. Uh, Mark Rollo. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay. So um, let's see if we can find a decent one here. For Uh, Okay. Um, Dear Diary. For you being one of the top young rising comedians in the world, this is taking a while, Tony. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Well, maybe I don't want to do any of the material that we're doing in the stand-up show after this, everybody. That's right. Fucking asshole. All right, just re- just read that. <laughs> okay, just read that word for word. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Don't read it before. Just read it naturally as you go. You can fucking do it. OJ supporters are more loyal than any other race. <laughs> Germans... Are never like Jews. They deserved it. 
But if you're really close, if you're really close to a black friend like I am, they'll tell you that Nicole Brown Simpson was a slut. It's better than what you did. Um, why did That's you? a joke that both I wrote and I will never do. So. Uh. <laughs> why, why, why did he sound like a newscaster reading that? <laughs> In other news, if you believe in O.J. Simpson... Uh, <laughs> this dude looks like Tom Hartley. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time. Read that one. Read that one Kill in the gray. You in killed the gray? him, you dog? Yeah, in the gray. I speak perfect English. I love immigrants with accents, though. <laughs> I had an Uber driver that was talking Hold on, to hold on. Mark, can I tell you something? Have you ever watched a comedian be a comedian before? <laughs> You're reading that like you're literally working at your travel site job. <laughs> all right? <laughs> fucking take some time. Why don't you find a Just fucking relax. beat in there? Relax. Breathe. Right. Look, look at me. Look at me. What I wrote is great. <laughs> all you have to do is fucking take your time. Take it nice and slow. All right. I speak perfect English. <laughs> I love immigrants with accents, though. One time I had an Uber driver... And I was talking to him, and I asked if he had a busy day. He said, yes. Many young people out here believe they're having their uh, springtime occasions. <laughs> here. That was so can terrible. I, here. Can, can I, can that, I delivery, that delivery is so bad that it's like a uh, DiGiorno. Okay, you <laughs> okay. I, I feel like a foreigner could have done that better. <laughs> it literally did sound like Tam Fam. I speak perfect English. <laughs> I rub immigrants with accents, though. I had an Uber driver I was talking to. I asked if he had a busy day. He said yes. Many young people out, I believe they are having their uh, springtime occasions. <laughs> That is something we've never done on this show. That is a perfect example of sometimes it's not even what you say, it's how you say okay, it. Can you rewind Here, here, re good luck reading a Red Band show. Go. <laughs> my, my butthole bleeds every right. day. It's not a diary. All right, let me hear my joke. My flashlight looks at me weird. All right, come on. We're going to set the stage. Are they really love handles if no one ever touches them? I didn't hear what you said. Okay, let's hear it. What did you say, by the way? I didn't hear what you said. I said... Are they, are they really love handles if no one touches them? Okay, let's continue. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh, for you podcast listeners, just remind you, this is Mark Rolo reading a joke that Red Band just okay. handed him. So I have a black iPhone. It's not good in water, but it runs faster. Hey, look at that. Good job. Am I improving at least? Wow, yeah. Okay, now Malcolm Hatchett is uh, handing Mark Rolo his phone. Mark, we're basically doing anything to try to make you funny here tonight. We are just York, literally, like we four. are spoon-feeding you comedy. All right, Mark, this is a big shot for you. Are you ready? We know Malcolm yeah. as a guy with a 1,000% basically batting average on this show. Maybe he, do it urban, though, you know, because it's an urban joke. All right, I don't know. Right, I don't know right, if that's right. the best advice. Malcolm, what do you think, urban? All right, urban. Mark, here you go. Mark Rolo. Yo, yo. <laughs> I steal white people's dogs, and I return them. When the reward comes out, easy money. I don't even know what you said, but it was good. It was funny. Let me delete this joke. No. <laughs> what is it? I didn't really understand. I steal white oh, people's dogs and return them. When the reward comes out, easy money. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, <laughs> how did it feel uh, saying words and getting laughs on stage tonight? Incredible. You can tell your friends that you fucking killed. You yeah, don't have to yeah. tell them whose jokes you were reading. <laughs> wow. 
All right, Mark. Well, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. There you go. You were on Kill Tony tonight. Let's keep flying through. <laughs> on to the next one. There he goes, Mark Rolo. You guys having fun out there? Go back to the bucket. Wow. Uh, this guy actually signed up for the show, and uh, that's uh, quite incredible. Um, he is the reason why we, were he we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the only real uh, star of the show from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a guy who I know has taken greyhounds to Los Angeles, train rides to Los Angeles, and scarier than all that, he's driven twice with Uncle Ron from Las Vegas. I present to you the one and only Ichabod. Las Vegas, Nevada's very own. Pulled out of the bucket. The creator of the Bucket of Destiny in Hollywood, California. One of our favorite humans. Las Vegas' own Ichabod, the undertaker of Kill Tony. One more time for Ichabod and then you take it away. Hell yeah, who's ready for summer? Huh? It, in the middle of June, it's right around the corner and it's gonna go up to 130 degrees. And I'm gonna crawl into my bedroom and I'm gonna crawl into my bed. I'm gonna turn on the TV, turn on the air conditioner. I'm gonna watch Big Brother continuously for three months. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, head of household, power of veto. I'm gonna what names like Evil Dick. Yeah, that's my kind of summer. I, I might watch too much Big Brother though, I might admit. I watch so much Big Brother, I, I'll go out with my friends and uh, I'll try to get them to play Big Brother. You know, I'll form an alliance and say, hey guys, we need to get rid of Steve. Hey, look at that. Ichabod. Isn't this the second time or the third time he's talked about how much he loves Big Brother? Do you really enjoy that show? Because it doesn't seem like you would. Hold on. Yeah. It's yes, you, you like it. You watch it. Do you rewatch episodes? No, I'm watching, uh, I watch the live feed, so they call me a super fan. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I watch the show, and I think, yeah, I think, I think I'd do, do well on that show. I'm going to be honest with you, Ichabod. I think that it is absolutely awesome. I know how nervous you get and how much pressure you put on yourself for these shows. Uh, yeah. And let me just tell you, I can't tell you how cool I think it is. I'm pretty sure you just had, like, the second best set of the night up here. Uh, you know? <laughs> Ichabod's a badass motherfucker that we met on the show a few years ago. He came to L.A., got pulled out of the bucket, told us he was a big fan, that he uh, traveled with his Uncle Ron. We found out that you guys are into a whole bunch of crazy shit, uh, cocaine uh. and fish sticks and uh, a <laughs> whole bunch of absolutely weird stuff. And uh, for those of you listening to the podcast, uh, Ichabod uh, looks like I would best describe a... Uh, Perhaps the um, the uh, if death died, if death died and then died again and uh, and then got a plastic surgery and then got his life together and died four more times. Uh, he he looks like he runs the fan club for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that was a good show. They had the the cat. <laughs> The guy guys, with 13 years of improv didn't roll with shit as well as Ichabod's doing up here right now. What? I fucking love this But show. he has 400 years of improv. <laughs> <laughs> guys, be, be, be nice to him. He was in the Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Malcolm, uh, you know Ichabod? Is this your first time seeing him? Nah, I met him at the comedy store a few weeks ago. Cool guy. I oh, thought yeah. black people were more scared of ghosts. <laughs> 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 You. For those of you that don't know, Ichabod, you run the karaoke show out of here every... Uh, karaoke? No, stand-up show. Oh, you run, run the stand-up show. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Oh, we well, used to do karaoke or something, right? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, so uh, you run, you, how long have you run the stand-up show out of here? 
Did I run a karaoke and totally forget? <laughs> I, <laughs> I haven't done karaoke since the 1500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go back Thursday. <laughs> You look we like shall worship the king every day. <laughs> what night of the week is that? Monday. It's Monday night. Right every Monday awesome. night at 8, right? <laughs> well, wow. 8, 8.45, stoner time. Hell yeah. yeah. Do you always do time on those shows? you work out a little bit of new stuff yourself? But once every other month, but I'm so focused on DJing that I, I'll just skip yeah, a few. Yeah, what, <laughs> what, what are some of your favorite songs to DJ to, Ichabod? I'll start out with Motley Crue, Kickstart My Heart. Wow, look at him. He's a real DJ. He's like a <laughs> Sir Sick a lot. Wow, they had to kickstart your heart to get you here today, I heard. I don't <laughs> now, can I tell you something? I actually heard a rumor, and I want to know if this is true. Oh. I, this is a true story. Probably. I have not talked with Ichabod about this earlier in the night, by the way, guys. I'm going to get real for a second. Someone told me tonight that works here for this venue that's been working with us that you once actually died and were oh. legally dead and they resuscitated you you woke up at the hospital yep. and you pulled the IV out of your arm and came here because it was Monday night at 8 and you wanted yeah. to do a spot here Yeah. is yeah. there any truth to this? yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. <laughs> this is what this guy lives for this is what this guy dies for God, oh man. the British guy shaking his head no well you know what you son of a bitch just because Ichabod wants to chase his dreams Sorry, he's not a little pussy yeah. Brit in the box. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Whoa, he pointed at me with his index finger that time. Oh, what's that? What does that mean in Britain? You're going to make me a T or something like that? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I've never seen a more jolly gargoyle before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Jeremiah got the middle finger clean shot. Ichabod, uh, what did they tell you you died from that night? When, when, when you, uh, did you ever find remember. out why you were died? They took me to died? the hospital. <laughs> they put the IV in. I woke up and went, holy shit. What time is it? <laughs> Tony, Tony. <laughs> he, was play, he, was playing hide and go, he was playing hide and go seek with the Grim Reaper and he found him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had an infection uh, in my jaw. Oh, I don't believe and, it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and the infection went to your brain. I don't, I don't know, but that's yes, what yes, the that's what would have happened. Gave me a, <laughs> if it would have killed and I, you, I was hanging out with some friends, and I passed, or I kind of went down flat on my face and passed out, and was puking out. And then they called. They're like, "Are you okay?" And then they go, "Well, our friend, I think he just died." <laughs> <laughs> and then someone had to perform what chest compressions on you, and and they had to put their lips on your lips and. Uh, Try to not vomit themselves. <laughs> they, ju they just had to sprinkle a few drops of the blood of the innocent, and he arose. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know what they give you in the hospital. That stuff was awesome. <laughs> it's called human blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure what they gave you in the hospital that you're not used to was food and water, Ichabod. Yeah. <laughs> you know what caused him almost dying was garlic. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Uh, Do people have to invite you into the dive bar so you can walk in every time? <laughs> Ichabod, uh, yeah. out of this entire bucket full of people's names, you got pulled out. How cool is that? Oh, that's the easy way to do it, man. You never know when you're. It's. This bucket is like the meaning of life, man. You never know when your name might get pulled. So right. be ready. Yeah, and that's coming. And who knows more about the meaning of life than a guy that died a few weeks ago? <laughs> How about one more time for Las Vegas' own Ichabod? We have gone over our time here on Kill Tony, and we have to turn and burn because we have a 9 p.m. stand-up show uh, after this. But what do you guys say? Should we go to the bucket one more time? <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Everybody gets lucky here tonight. <laughs> Who are these guys signaling to? What the fuck is this guy doing? What is this guy calling plays for the New England Patriots offense right now? 
pencil behind your ear? Get the fuck out. It's like creepy game show host. This fucking out of work magician over here. This fucking uh Alright. Okay. Red ink. It's on loose leaf paper. Let's see what happens. Put your hands together for Jay Smith. <laughs> I'm not seeing any movement. Oh, here he comes. Jay Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so I've been uh, exercising a lot lately. <laughs> but you wouldn't believe how many people are possessed by demons. <laughs> Wrote that one for you, man. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't exercise. Uh, I just got over some back problems. Um, went to a doctor. Where, where the ladies at in here? Where the ladies at in here? All right, well, fuck you then. Anyway, went to the doctor, you know, look for some help, and uh, finally got the penis reduction surgery. My, my uh, back's like brand new. You know what I mean? So it's cool, though. Told them to take it down to just slightly above average. So, uh, God damn it. And uh, he left enough foreskin, you know what I mean, so I don't have to use condoms anymore. <laughs> I ain't got shit else, man. Hey. There it is. A minute from Jay Smith. For you podcast listeners, he uh, looks like if Uncle Phil got the stomach ring. Uh, <laughs> lost a bunch thanks, of weight. Thanks for making fun of my tumor. Appreciate that. Is that a tumor? No, it's not. It's not a tumor. <laughs> wow. Hey. Dad, I was going to say it looks like a former. <laughs> Look like a baby. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Uh, well, welcome to the show. For those of you listening to the podcast, uh, he's wearing a shirt that says, anything is possible. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Jay Smith, you didn't come up here with any funny jokes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. You were all Speech. right. Uh, I like your style, man. Uh, you seem like uh, you are... Uh, what are you, like a bouncer at uh, Chuck E. Cheese or something like that? Like, exactly, exactly. I feel like you have a weird job. Am I right? No, you're not. Oh, okay. What do you do? Well, it depends on what you consider weird. But uh, <laughs> Okay, this is the part where he finds out he jerks off clowns for a living. <laughs> He's like, yeah, oh, no. totally wrong. I just got fired from that <laughs> shit, man. You look no, like I'm, a <laughs> I'm an electrician. Oh, an electrician. He, he elect looks like most definitely has warm warrants. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. I've loved Ooh. it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, no, I'm just saying, this is the first time I felt sad for trannies, you know what I mean? But, wow. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm not a girl, <laughs> not yet a woman. <laughs> Britney, Britney. That's right, that's right. Wow. <laughs> Jason. I, did, I did love you in Hanson, though, man. You was the shit. Man, you look like a little person who wished to be normal size. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Joel Berry oh. will not let you roast yeah. Jeremiah. You, you, Hen you. Anything is possible. You look, like, you, you, you look like the only two reasons you use cargo pockets is for your weed and EBT card. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you psychic like a motherfucker, man. You psychic. You, you look like a six weenie in a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> God damn. You look like you sell fake shoes. <laughs> you look like you buy them. Oh! Oh, no, hey, that, hey! Hey, how, how you got a phone and brand new Nikes and sleep in a car, man? Your priorities is fucked up, man. Ah, uh, shit. Your hair look like a milk dog. <laughs> <laughs> Com coming from a guy who has mannequin legs. <laughs> you do have. I, I, I noticed you have the, you have the ankles of a quadriplegic, sir. <laughs> what what is up with your ankles? Has anyone told you this before? I fucked up and didn't wear pants tonight, you know what I mean? <laughs> you look like you have... It looks like somebody put human skin over your amputated leg sticks. You look, you look like you're trying to revive members only with that jacket, man. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, that, that but did I, I did love you as an extra on Walking Dead, man. I've never, I've hey, never you, gotten made fun of by a guy sitting on two pogo sticks before. <laughs> <laughs> what I, never, I never made fun of a been made fun of a guy that was sitting on one pogo stick. You know oh, I mean? shit, man. You look like you cry every night. <laughs> I'm probably going to tonight, you know, after this. Your glasses, your glasses come Wi-Fi. 
For, let me ask you this, Jay Smith. For a guy with no calves, why are you built like a baby cow? That's a good one. Look at his fucking legs. If you're not laughing at that joke, look at this motherfuckers. He's got hey, no calf shit, muscles. He, he should, lo- should take notes, though. You look like you just took your first steps today. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't as prepared as I thought, man. I ain't going to lie. You, you look like a genie and the boy who wished for real legs. <laughs> I wish I had real legs. <laughs> You look like Shit Knight if he was on death row. <laughs> I don't appreciate that shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, we better. <laughs> That's what happens when you call me a tranny, bitch. Whoa! <laughs> you That's what happens when you look like a tranny. An uh, out of work tranny guy. You oh, already shit. lost, boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're yeah still. You teamed up on like you did last night, mom. You better give up, Jay Smith. Your, <laughs> your, your, your jokes also don't have legs. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. You got it, you. man. Oh, shit. Well, there he there, No, no, no. There he goes then. Wow. Son of a bitch. Wow, I didn't With know. your sweaty ass, nervous palm. <laughs> I, I didn't know we had a kindergartner on stage. Nice to psych. <laughs> You liked it. Shut up. That's what you tell the trannies that you have sex with. (laughs) Uh, I got nothing. God damn. You You look like a baby Tupac talking about, I wonder if heaven got Legos. (laughs) 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 He about to start start crying. He, he, I, was, I wasn't ready for this. That must be the half Lay white down. side of him. Let, let's, just, let's just say he looks like he doesn't TIP. <laughs> Have you ever gone out in public wearing shorts before? Like, you act like you're shocked about these jokes. You have the legs of a motherfucking table. Like I, <laughs> Look yep. at those. Fuck, I've never seen anything nope. like it before. The people, by the way, for you listeners, the people in the first few rows are all hunched over. They cannot even look directly at his legs. There are tears. They are <laughs> wiping shit away from their faces. Your legs look like the mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen long. <laughs> Never mind. If you walk fast, you might roll your ankles. <laughs> you got you got high tops, and you still look like you could roll an ankle. <laughs> <laughs> your shoes ashy as fuck. <laughs> so is your upper lip. I wasn't I wasn't ready for this. He shit. about to cry in the car. <laughs> You look like you cook on the grill every day. You're, you say That's you don't. Re- you say you weren't ready for this shit, but you signed up for stand up. I, I wasn't ready for even this. Even though shit. you don't have the legs to literally stand up, it is unbelievable. It's a goddamn anomaly. Like I didn't. Right. I, I figured you'd fall over. Like steel melts or whatever the fuck temperature. I mean, <laughs> what is going on there? Now what's up with the question part? Yo, you, are, you are. Tony. You are. You are built. Clown, like, you are built like a motherfucking ice cream cone. Do you know that? <laughs> It is small at the bottom, and it just keeps getting bigger. Your it chops real. That's real big of you, man. Your head are like a Spalding basketball. <laughs> You're damn right you weren't ready for this. You Your just got deep like roasted. Your J- head like a thong. <laughs> Jay Smith, ladies That's and gentlemen. Good. We got to go. There he goes, Jay Smith. Anything is possible. Your strong ass head out of here. Can't believe he left me hanging. And next time, wear some hot top socks. Can't believe he left me hanging. Low ass ankles. You know America's come a long way when the black guy leaves the white guy hanging. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that hurt. That hurt a special part of my soul, Jay Smith. You goddamn no leg having motherfucker. <laughs> he had no legs, <laughs> but he had like legs. Like if somebody like had their legs amputated, I wouldn't make fun of them as much as I just made fun of him. Like, he does not have an excuse. That is fucking binge-watching television. He could not be on house arrest. Ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) How about one more time for uh, our guest tonight, Malcolm Hatchett, ladies and gentlemen. You can catch him on the stand-up comedy show immediately following this show. 
I think we have somewhat of an honor system happening. If you didn't buy tickets for the stand-up show, then uh, either go do it or be honest and get the fuck out of here. But you should have gotten tickets for both shows if you have any brains whatsoever. We're hanging out here all night. Special thanks to the Dive Bar. Fun times. Jeremiah Watkins. This is a live podcast. We're all doing stand-up shows this weekend. This will be out real soon. Get your Mother's Day uh, flowers. Jeremiah is going to be featuring all shows in San Francisco with guest spots by some of the Kill Tony members on different nights. Jeremiah? You can follow me on social media, at Jeremiah Stand Up. And uh, I, have, uh, I have saxophones, inflatable saxophones, and CDs that I'll be selling outside for uh, donations. Anything you can do, guys. Uh, How about one more time for Joel Berg? Joel Jimenez, huh? Yo, know, I, I just, uh, I just made my Instagram public. <laughs> so follow me. I'm mostly sorry. Also, if you wear an XL, I might have something for you if you really like me. How loud can, uh, how loud can this place get for the Podfather of it all, Brian Redband, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks, guys. I love you guys. Stick around for the stand-up show. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. This was Kill Tony, Las Vegas. Fun from beginning to end. We love you. Good night. I really want to go to...